this morning I heard a crazy funny case. You know, in this country, exotic dancers have a higher divorce rate than almost any other profession. Dancing has become a big issue for the couple I met today in divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Ms. Williams and Mr. Bridges, the two of you have been living together for 10 years. Ms. Williams, you see now that no ring is coming and you want out. You also want him to pay for his portion of some utility bills, almost $2,000 worth. And we'll talk about that momentarily. But before we do, why don't you tell me how you two met and ended up living together for 10 years? We met at a strip club. He was the dancer, of course. He was um, a dancer. So you're yes. an exotic dancer. Yes, okay. Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Now, 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 let me ask you this. <laughs> How do you meet the exotic... I mean, instead of putting a dollar in his G-string, did you put your phone number in there? No. Or how does that work? I was a regular at one of the uh, clubs there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's for entertainment. It was for mm -hmm. entertainment, but I was a regular. But he caught my attention. Um... I think he showed me more attention than he showed other women. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to pursue it, and I did. Mm -hmm. so, now, Mr. Bridges, how did she come at you? Oh, man. I mean, she came at me like most women do. You know, money out first, of course. Right. Um, I mean, I, like I said, I kind of liked the way she treated me. She, she gave me good money. Of course, she rubbed my body, rubbed my chest. And sometimes you can, you can rub a man the wrong way, tell him you'll cook him a meal, you know? So I had to jump on that quickly. <laughs> You are unhappy now, Ms. Williams. What, what is the cause of your unhappiness? Well, in the beginning, everything was fine. We had fun. I was young. Girl. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're still young. You're only 33. Yes, but I was younger. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but the partying, it was fun. Seeing the different dancers, it was fun. The trips was fun. Everything was fun in the beginning. We're getting older now. It's time to more settle down. Okay. Do you want him to quit his job? I mean, this is his career. It's his, it's his sources yeah. of income. I want to compromise. I, I'll what compromise. What kind of compromise do you want? Not so much as a whole lot of dancing. Once a month. Oh, man. Now, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait, and a regular now, wait, job. Wait, 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 Mr. Bray. Wait a minute, you don't even have to say anything, because I'm going to say it for you. Yeah. When someone has a career, and you know what that career is, you can't live with them and then you'd say, I don't want you to do your career anymore because it bothers me. That is his career. It's like someone, you know, if, if my husband came to me and said, hey, baby, I don't like you in that robe. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. figure you have the right to ask him to change not only who he is, but what he does. Well, nobody wants to see a 40-year-old dancer when he gets that age. Well, let me ask him. Mr. Bridges, do people still looking? Look, Are I've, been, still I've been dancing since I was 18 years old. And uh -huh. the women, they come to me even more now that I'm older. I understand women a lot more every year. You know, you being around women, you learn about women. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I can show you some demonstrations that can show you I know what I'm doing with women. <laughs> I'm, I'm only, Keep it I'm light. Give you a preview. I'm Keep it give light. You a preview. Okay. Well, you know, man, as a as a dancer, you know, I gotta be in women's face. I gotta be close up to them. They sitting in the chair right here in front, man. I gotta get down to their level. I gotta squat my hips down. You know, I gotta grind in front. I'm gotta I gotta grind. And you just turn around and you just mm, 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 mm. and you just you know you kind of you gotta pick them up, put them on your shoulders and grind and grind. You know, put it up there and let them let them let them see it. Let them see it and let them see it and. That's it. The women love it. They want they love it. They want to see the stallion. I gotta give it to him. I'm sure, Judge, you know from there how it goes after I, I, that. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, <laughs> but well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a minute. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, man. So I got up. So I got up. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bridges, what is your primary concern about Ms. Williams, other than the fact that she wants you to quit 
what you do for a living? Oh, uh, for me, support system is everything. As a dancer, mm -hmm. I'm dancing by myself up there. If people don't realize it's a, that's a lonely job because at the end of the day, all eyes are on you. You don't have a backup person with you. So if she's gonna be my woman and be my, you know, wanna be more, you gotta be with me 100% everything I do. You can't well, be 90%. Well, what kind of support do you need that she's not giving you? In the beginning, she used to recruit. She used to recruit women to come make sure they give me their money. She made sure that I was gonna have that money coming in my pocket from other women that I wouldn't necessarily had mm -hmm. if she wouldn't have done what she did. Has she stopped doing those things for you? Trust me, the money ain't the same like it was around in the beginning, so. Now, let me ask yeah. you, I'm gonna be delicate. Mm -hmm. Do you think it has to do with age, your age, as opposed to her recruitment activities? No, age ain't got nothing to do with it. She just, she I mean, changes. don't the younger ones come up, the magic mic type? <laughs> no. <laughs> you Trust know, me. you've seen him. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> Most of my fan base are older women. I have some younger women, but mostly older women. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not gonna go home and see a man like me sitting in front of them, so, no. So you believe that she hasn't been encouraging and supportive as she was? Yeah. Because she doesn't want you to do it anymore. Yeah, I think that's her way Is that, of, is that pretty much what it is? Sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> well, what, what, what is it like the other times? The women. Tell me about the Come women. On, man. The women that he brings into the household, saying it's meetings, don't have to meet in the house. You like women also, so what's the difference? But <laughs> what's the difference? That was back in the day. Oh, that was back in the day. I, I retired from that. I didn't retire. I didn't retire from it. I didn't retire from it, so why should it change? What you mean, why? Hey. Mrs. Williams, you're an yeah. interesting woman. See? See? <laughs> you really See? are. Uh -uh. A, and I think I have an idea of what's happening here, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and I want to explore that. <laughs> Tell me about the condom wrapper. In his pocket? What are you doing with a condom wrapper in your pocket? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Williams, you suspect that not only is he dancing and making money, you really think he's cheating on you. I uh, tell me what things you've seen or heard that makes you believe that. I come home, he's in the bathrobe. Woman fully dressed on the couch, but you're in the bathrobe. Why are you in the bathrobe? Get other yeah. things. I, I, can, I, I can hear your excuse in my head. <laughs> so, it's so, a legitimate so, one. Yeah, it's a legitimate know, one, trust you, me. You, 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 you were demonstrating your wares, trying to get a gig. I, is, is that not what you were going to say? Women want to see the merchandise before they put that's it in front of their friends. Like, yeah, they want to make sure. Give me something else. Mm -hmm. Tell me something more incriminating. You tell me you're out of town. Guess where I find you at? At the club. But you're supposed to be out of town, in Vegas. But you're at the club. Mr. Bridges, did you tell, hey. tell Ms. Williams that you were out of town when, in fact, you were home in the club? Look, I had an excuse for that. We supposed to have an event that was in Vegas. They had something with the fire, the fire marshal. They shut it down. So I, I boys there. So rather than me coming home, I just went ahead and chilled with them. We got a hotel downtown, stuff going on in Atlanta. Atlanta's a very popping city. So rather than going home, I went ahead and had a weekend with the boys. And of course, she saw my, my vehicle. And you know, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. But Oh, she happened to ride by and see your car? Trust me, I don't know. I think she got a, she got a device on there. I don't know how the heck she seen my car. Because <laughs> yeah. Atlanta's yeah. a big city. Yeah, it's a big city, so yeah. yeah. How did you find yeah. him? I got my ways. That's mm. messed up. Well, you got a GPS on him? Mm-mm, but I have my way. Are oh, you not telling either? That's messed up. Tell me about the condom wrapper. In his pocket? What are you doing with a condom wrapper in your pocket? When like, did you find that? Oh, I was doing the laundry one day. Uh-huh. And, you know, you check the pockets before you put the clothes in the washer. I checked it. Hmm. Where has he been? See, I got an excuse for that. Well, nah, what, 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 look, what, wait, wait, that's Mr. That's Bridges, what's uh -huh. the excuse for that? Well, I mean, yeah, what you gotta excuse? understand is 
we do have sex with other women. So when we involved with other women without threesomes, I mean, the, the kind of rap might have put it back in my pocket, you know, as I pulled my clothes off. So I mean, that's how I got in there. I mean, I forgot to took, I forgot to take it out. But I mean, I don't, I don't sleep with other women without protection other than her. So, I mean, that's that's how I got in my pocket. That don't sound right. It, at yeah, all. It does. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> at all. What? You're telling on, me now. that the only time you have sex with other women is when you have sex with other women with Ms. Williams. Yes, I am. And he's smiling when he said it, so oh, you yeah. know it isn't true. Yes, I am. I no, no, it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it's true. Yes, I am. That's how I'm saying. Yeah. But you said you retired from that particular. I retired. And I've seen emails and text messages. Has she, in fact, retired from that? No, she haven't. That is, that, come on, you can't retire from something like that. Yes, <laughs> I can. She just don't do it as often, but, I mean, two and three times a month ain't retired. That ain't retired. No. That's, all. That's, That's not... called retirement. No, me, me, retired. Me, me, me. ain't retirement. No, no. Ms. Williams, I'm so sorry. He's just put, she's all up in your Kool-Aid today. Know, right? just what? pouring it, it out retirement. on the street, everybody looking at out. Mrs. Well, Williams, it. it would all be okay if you could get a ring. Yes? Yeah, and he stopped his ways. Stop his career? I'll compromise. You'll compromise. Mr. Bridges, you've been together for 10 years. Apparently, she's a great deal of fun and allows you an, an, an exciting and adventurous uh, sex life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, no, why no ring? I'm just not ready. Um... I mean, a lot comes with that. Now, now wait, now see? Mm. Now, one thing she don't realize is I have a lot of friends that are married, and they also, we are, we're in the same business. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work out. Um, you know, I, 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 have, I see it face forward, these guys go through. And I rather with the way things are now, we happy. You know, think we don't get into arguments like they are. These, these guys still are married, and six months, they, they're filing for divorce. I don't want to go through that. It's so a waste of time in doing it. Everything's that. cool, leave it like it is. Yeah, it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, most women wouldn't be able to tolerate it. I mean, she's getting older now. The older she's getting, she's not tolerating it as much. I mean, why would I put myself in a position to marry her and things go downhill from there? Do you agree with Anthony that it is not cheating if you don't get caught? Vote now. Call 855-70-DIVORCE. Make your vote count. Call 855-70-DIVORCE and get your exclusive offers. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Williams, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something that I typically don't allow in here because I don't think you're as interested in that money as you leave, what you're interested in is having an opportunity to stay. He just told you that if it's not broke, don't fix it. Or if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sometimes the vernacular is better. Okay. okay. You tell him why it makes a difference to you. I've been with you, might as well say, forever now. And besides kicking you out, I've never left your side. I've always been there. But you still go in, do whatever. I think I've proven to you that I'm here for the long run. But you don't get it. You don't get it. Why is it different? It's a good thing you're together. Why does the ring and a piece of paper make a difference to you? Something to show for it. Because now I don't have anything to show for as long as I've been with you. Nothing to show. Mr. Bridges, what would a ring and a piece of paper do if that's, that's all that happens? Mm -hmm. There's a ring and a piece of paper. You love her. She needs it. She wants it. She's hurting for it. How do you think that would affect the nature of your relationships, which seems to give you a great deal of freedom already? I mean, the main thing is just my career. Um, my career, it puts me... You know, most women wouldn't be able to tolerate it. I mean, she's getting older now. The older she's getting, she's not tolerating it as much. I mean, why would I put myself in a position to marry her and things go downhill from there? That's my mm -hmm. biggest worry. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the business to get married and then get in a divorce. Right. Um, 
and you are already seeing the beginnings of a problem because mm -hmm. she's already unhappy that you continue to dance. Yes. Did you hear what he said? Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's not even that. I mean, I don't plan on stopping no time soon. Mm -hmm. So I plan on scripting when some. Do you, when do you think a career? When do you think you age out of a career like that? Because there are mm -hmm. limitations to that, isn't that? I mean, nah. I don't. I can't see. You know, sixty years old. I don't know if I want to see all that. <laughs> well, I mean, see, you you one you one woman of many. I mean, women gonna age just like I am. No, I mean they still not gonna want to see guys dance. Mm -hmm. So long as I'm still a good product out there and can move. I mean, I, I work out and take good care of my body and eat right, so I think I should be pretty good. So as long as you stay in shape, you think think you're going to be good to go? Yep, I'm pushing Let towards 70 right now. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Do you ever think you could find a woman more accommodating than Ms. Williams? That's the hard part. I hear some that say they would, but I do have one that I, I can't say that she is. She been extraordinarily yeah, accommodating. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she is. she's really been, you know. <laughs> yeah, you right, you right. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough, it's a tough decision. I have a suggestion to make. Okay. And I'm going to make it to you. And then I'm going to leave. There's always a whole lot going on in divorce court that people want to talk about. If you have something you want to say, join us on Twitter at Divorce Court or jump on our Facebook page and see what everybody's talking about on there. Sometimes you people get heated. Don't miss it. First, I'm going to give you an opportunity, Ms. Williams, to tell me about the $1,920 you would like to get from Mr. Bridges because you do want to leave. That is to cover the utility bills. Um, we live in a house, and he covers the cable bill because mm -hmm. he's a sports fanatic, so mm -hmm. we have extra on the TV, mm -hmm. um, the power, the gas, and the water. So that will cover it for six months. So you're going to put him out? It's my house. Are you living in her house? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you got a sweet deal, Mr. Bridges. <laughs> I, I'm not. I, 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 now, here's what I'm. I like you both. I think y'all should get married. That's just me. Oh, okay. but, but hang on. Okay. It's gonna hurt you a little bit, but here we go, okay. Mrs. Williams. Yes. I'd boot him. He's got everything he wants, and he has no reason to do anything other than maintain what he already has. He's got to know what it is like to be without you. He's got to know what a good thing he's got, or else he's going to continue to do what he's already done. you got to be strong. If you're telling him, I don't like it, I don't like it, I want more, I want more, but you continue to give him everything he wants, what is his motivation? Why would he change? You're hurt about this. You're living a life that, that has de is depleting you. And you have to be strong enough to say, hey, if you don't respect me and can give me what I need, given the fact I've given you so much, step. Be your wound woman. And I'm, I'm telling you, you know, being without a man is not a horrible thing. My sister, she never, ever got married. And on any given day, she's having a bad day. She calls me, say, hey, what's going over her, on your house? I tell her I'm married, got kids. She said, whoo, I'm single. <laughs> money is hers. All her needs are hers. All her wants get taken care of because she can do it because she is not obligated to anybody. It may not be the best life, but my life is not the best life. There's always a choice. There's pros and cons. Don't believe that you're not a success if you don't have a man. You're not a success if you're not happy in your heart where you are and you're not. I suggest you jump. Can't make him pay the bills because you guys uh, entered in that together. There was no obligation to do that. Can't do any of that for you. But my advice is to step, and you might find that he's going to step right behind you. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. There will be no recovery. I told LaCara to step because if you keep doing what you've always done, you will get what you've always gotten and she hasn't gotten what she wanted. The short of it is, 
Don't stay too long if the relationship is wrong. Make a decision, then make your move.